Hey what's up guys and girls, welcome back to Coxie Tutorials. Uh, sorry it's been such a long time since I've actually posted a video. Um, I've actually been working on my own project with a really good mate of mine who's an artist. Um, yeah, so I haven't really had much time to do tutorials but I'm going to try and get, um, get up as many as I can and get back into it. I've been a little bit put off um, to keep continuing with this tutorial as well because I don't um, use JavaScript anymore, I think I've told you before, um, and it's it's just been made really hard to use JavaScript now, well not hard, but it's just so much faster using C Sharp because basically now if you use uh, JavaScript in MonoDevelop, um, there's no help, it doesn't finish anything for you, there's no um, IntelliSense or anything like that, so it, it's just so much slower to write your code, and if you try to use JavaScript in Visual Studio, you'll constantly just get things marked with red lines and stuff and thinking that it's actually an, uh, an error when it's not. So yeah, I think I'll do this tutorial um, and if you guys really want me to do um, something else for this tutorial in JavaScript, I will um, I will probably do that for you, but I think I would much rather start another first person shooter um, tutorial series in um, C Sharp and I've actually learnt uh, quite a lot since I uh, did the first tutorial for this series so it would probably be beneficial to you guys as well um, just because of the um, amount of new things that I've learnt and how much better I actually am at um, coding and using Unity than I was uh, probably just over a year ago when we started this series so yeah anyway what we're going to do today, uh, one of you guys requested that you wanted a damage screen. Uh, so when we get damage, you know, usually you have like blood splatter or, you know, red screen or whatever come up when you get hit. So I'm going to do a really basic one of those and then hopefully we'll be done with this series and I can start the new one, which is going to be a lot better. Um, I'm going to start the new one anyway. And as I said, if you guys want really want me to do something for this series, well, yeah, I'll definitely try to um, accommodate you because you guys have been really awesome and um, I appreciate your support. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'm just going to double click on the main canvas. I'm going to click on the 2D. Um, we're going to use an image, so just right click on the canvas, go to UI and image and I'm just going to call it uh, damage image and for this damage image I'm going to open up the um, anchors I'm going to click on the um, the stretch down here I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on it again so that we get an anchor point on each corner you guys have done this a few times with me now and then just hold down alt and click it again so that it stretches across the whole screen and if you guys have got some kind of um, image that you want to use, just stick it in there. A PNG image you're making Photoshop or get offline, whatever. Maybe one that's got blood or something around the edges would be pretty cool. I haven't got one. I'm just going to make a red panel and I'm just going to lower the transparency down so that you can actually still see what's going on when you damage. Um, yeah, that'll probably do for mine. You guys as I said, just use whatever you want. Um, yours is going to look a lot better than this. So, yeah, just open up the player health script. Uh, mine's already open, yep. So, as I said, we're going to do this really, really simple. Um, we're just going to need uh, two variables. So we'll need a variable for the actual image itself. So, uh, just going to call mine damaged image. And it's going to be of type image and we can use image because we have this line of code up here. If you're using a different script, make sure you've uh, got import Unity Engine UI or else you won't be able to use image. Uh, yeah, we'll need one more variable. Sorry, I said two. So we'll need a, just a boolean as well to make it really easy just to let, um, just so we know that we are actually taking damage. So we'll go uh, var, oops, are uh, we taking damage and spelling mistake 
are we taking damage and that will be false to start with of course because we're not actually taking damage until we get hit and down here in our function take damage we know if this function is called that we are taking damage so we can basically just set this boolean to true down here and this is what pisses me off now um, you know usually if you're using um, C sharp in either Mono Develop or Visual Studio if I started typing this in it'll just automatically finish it for me um, it just makes it so much faster and then you don't have to worry about making silly spelling mistakes and um, things like that so so I don't have a problem with JavaScript I actually really like JavaScript it just really annoys me that uh, yeah that they've made it hard to use basically now or harder to use and I'm lazy so I like to do things the easy way so anyway we're going to say that <clears throat> are we taking damage is true when we're actually calling the take damage function and then all we need to do is we'll go to our function update and just down the bottom here we'll be fine we'll just say if um, are we taking damage so I like to use really long names for my variables most of the time and say exactly what they are um, I can't stand it when people will use like two letters or or something like that and when I try to read their code I have no friggin idea what they're talking about so yeah it's even worse for me now trying to use JavaScript on Mono Develop or Visual Studio anyway so are we taking damage this is just saying if are we taking jam damage is equal to true it's just shorthand I generally write e is equal to true um, so you guys can understand better but I think most of the guys following these tutorials are pretty right now you guys probably have learnt a lot um, and helped me learn a lot as well so anyway if that is true then we we want to make this damage damaged image appear and at the start we don't want this damaged image to be visible um, so we're just gonna oops not that one damaged image whoop, dot enabled equals false okay so when the game starts we'll make sure that we can't see the image and then what we might do is we'll actually make a function yeah we'll make a function to call here so just come down to the very bottom <clears throat> and we'll just say function damage screen something like that will be fine so in this we will actually enable the um, the damage screen image so I'll just copy that save mucking around and we'll just make sure that's uh, true and we might set that boolean back to false again so make sure you change that to false and we'll just wait a little bit just so it's displayed on the screen so it doesn't just like flash really quick and it's gone we actually get to see it uh, you wait for seconds yeah you wait for seconds and 0 0.5 try that and then we'll make it false again so we don't want to see the screen after half a second this is the most extremely easy way to do it so uh, there's lots of other ways you can do it better ways but we're just going to do it like this so back on our FPS controller all we need to do now we've got our um, image slot so just drag our damage image in that slot and then I'm just going to make sure this maximizes. So if we start the game, 
yeah, the, the image is no longer there, which is good. And when we get hit, hopefully it should uh, display. And no, that's not displaying because we didn't call the bloody function, did we? Of course we didn't. All right, yeah, we probably want to call this function so that it actually uh, works. And we want to call that. We even made a special spot for it and didn't put it in there. All right, oops. So yeah, we actually want to uh, call that function when we want to take damage. Okay, try again. Shouldn't be in such a hurry. Okay, so we'll try again. And bam, yep, we get damage. At, we get, the screen goes red at the same time that we actually lose um, health down in our little health ratio display. And yeah, that's basically it guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, like and subscribe and get ready for the new series that I'm going to start very, very soon. And yeah, that, it should be pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.